Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel called London Business as Usual, where I teach new LLCs how to start, how to grow, and how to scale their business by using business credit. Now, this episode, we're going to talk about the fastest way to build business credit in 2023. Now, notice I'm saying business credit and not business funding because these are two different concepts. So business funding is when you leverage your brand new business or an established business, but you're also gonna leverage their business owner credit. You're gonna put the two together and you're gonna go and get the bank's money, such as American Express, Choose It, Royal Spargo, Chase Bank, PNC Bank, etc. Now, business credit is when you take your brand new business or an established business. Now, we're gonna leverage our EIN, I'm gonna buy yourself, I'm gonna to go to other companies and open up lines of credit with those companies. That's what we focus on today, business credit. Now, how do we do that? But before we get into that, uh, if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content that I'm giving you today. It motivates me to keep making these videos and keep giving you the gems that you highly deserve. Right, so let's get right into it. Now, the first step, What's the fastest way to start building a strong business credit profile that you can start getting approved for business credit? Well, let's unpack that. Let's break it down. First, you want to make sure that you create a separate LLC. You want to make sure that you create a separate entity. Now, this is part of your fundable foundation, I like to call it. We have to make sure that we properly structure in our business because most new LLCs, most new business owners, the reason why you're getting turned down for business credit application, whether you're going online, you're doing it inside the store or you're talking to a sales rep is because your business is not properly structured so we have to first make sure that we properly structure our business and now it starts with our business name business name is really important because you don't want to fall into getting blackballed or fall into an industry that's really high risk so when you get blackballed meaning businesses do not want to do business with you based off your business name or based off the industry that you're in it's too much of a high risk it's too much uh, of a black backlash for these lenders or for these different businesses so they don't want to deal with you period so you need to make sure that your name is properly in position which means if you're in real estate real estate does not have to be in your business name right also your industry code which is your nas code n-a-i-c-s you can go to n-a-i-c-s.com and look up your nas code to determine which code fits your industry now there's different types of code out there but you have to choose which one that fits you but you want to make sure that you're not in a high risk industry as far as your NAS code, such as real estate, transportation. So you want to make sure that you choose the proper name and the right industry to go in in order for you to get approved for these business credit applications. So after you fix those two things, next you want to make sure that you have your virtual office, which is really important. If you don't have a brick and mortar, you need a virtual office. Why? Because credit is all about perception. Do you look good on paper? That's what these different businesses care about. That's what these lenders care about. They want to make sure that you're an established business owner, that you're taking your business seriously. So the way that you can, one of the ways that you can make it seem like you're taking your business seriously is that you want to make sure that you're in maybe in a prestigious or a prominent neighborhood, such as um, in your city and a big skyscraper downtown somewhere, do a business, right? That's what the power of virtual office. Now, the virtual office I recommend is called Opus, O-P-U-S. Why? It's because not only you can use Opus for a virtual office, but also you build in business credit with Opus. Why? Because they are reporting your monthly payment that you pay to Opus as a business trade line. They report it to Credit Safe, which is a, a business credit bureau. So you're killing two birds and one stone. Now, if you can go to Regis or any other virtual office out there, but I recommend Opus because you get the business credit trade line, which is really great. Next, after you get your virtual office, you want to make sure that you have a professional email address and a professional phone number. Now, you can go to GoDaddy for the email address. You can get a phone number from GoDaddy too as well. Or you can go to a company like Ring Central or Vonage to get a business phone number. But again, we want to make sure that we look good on paper. Now you can get a 1-800 number and a local number. You can get both or just stick with the 1-800 number in the beginning. So make sure you have that. Also, you want to make sure that you list it in public records. So when these lenders look you up, they can find you. Also, you want to make sure not, uh, that you're omnipresent. You want to have a Facebook Instagram, TikTok, business credit profile. You don't have to have all three, but make sure you have at least one, maybe two. You want to make sure that you're on Google, right? You want to be on the internet. You can be on Yelp. So you want to make sure that you're omnipresent, that your information is congruent on all 
platforms. Again, this is the reason why most new LLC small business owners get turned down because the information doesn't match. So if your information does not match, you can't be validated. Your business can't be verified. So it's going to be listed as fraudulent or it's going to be listed as uh, a high risk because they can't find you. So if they can't find you, they can't validate your business. So now they might be thinking you're trying to commit identity theft. So you don't want to be in that category too. So that's really important. So make sure you have an internet present. Um, after that, after you have internet present, email, you know, you have all that information. You want to make sure that you create a separate entity. Now you want to create your LLC, right? You want to go to your secretary of state, create your LLC. Uh, then from there, what you want to do is get an EIN, get an EIN, which is basically a, a social security number for your business. It makes sure that you file taxes, make sure that you have your employees, now, you can be a single member LLC. You don't have to have employees. You can just be yourself. But EIN number is for um, those reasons, predominantly. Predominantly. Now, next, you want to make sure you have a business checking account. Having a business checking account is really important because technically, you're not in business as an eye of the lender until you have a business checking account. So many people are asked, "Hey, how long have you been in business?" They say five years. Okay, how long have you been in business on paper? Two years. Okay, how long have you had your business checking account? I just opened it 90 days ago. Well, technically, you're not in business. You're only in business for 90 days in the eyes of the lender. So we want to make sure that we get that business checking account as soon as possible. Why? Because lenders want to make sure that you're taking your business serious and you are established. Again, it's all about the risk factor. So you having a business checking account, it tells them that. Uh, now, what banks to go with? That's a, uh, I made a video to, to show you. I made a past video to show you which business to uh, I'll leave in the description which business or which bank account to open up with to start building your own business credit profile now it doesn't mean you only have to have one you can have multiple business checking account three four five six seven etc uh now it's a method to the madness again multiple business checking accounts I'm just not mad for any reason it's a method to my madness <laughs> so we want to make sure that we have multiple business checking accounts now, after we do that, we want to get our Dun & Brad number, where I created Dun & Brad credit profile so we can start building up our, pay these, our 80 pay that score. Even though, if you've been watching my videos, you should know by now the banks, these lenders, these financial institutions do not care about your 80 pay that score. So just keep that in mind too as well. So let's not just focus on that. Now, after we properly structure our business, right, we build a fundable foundation where our business look legitimate. Now, after we do that, we want to start building up our business credit profile, which means we want to start adding business trade lines on our business credit reports. So now here's where most people get this wrong. They base it off the tier system, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, which means they add a whole bunch of vendors and supplier trade lines, which again, banks do not care about. You want to diversify your business credit trade lines. You want to add vendors accounts such as CEO, Creative CEO, Crown Office Supplies, uh, JJ Gold, um, the U Line, the Granger, the Quill, if you want to add them to as well. But you want to add about three or four vendor trade lines, supplier trade line. That's it. You don't have to go crazy tier one, tier three, tier four, and a whole bunch of gas store cards, a bunch of retail store cards, right? If you want to get the Home Depot, the Office Max, etc., you can get those too as well. The Dell, those are really good ones to get too. But also, what you want to do next is start adding financial trade lines. This is what the banks care about. Like you want to get secure business credit card like Tearfield, Bank of America, FBO. You also want to get you also want to get like a Credit Strong. Now you have a an installment business trade line on your credit report, and you have revolving financial trade lines on your credit report. So you diversify your business trade lines. You just don't have a whole bunch of business supplier accounts. So now when these lenders look at your business credit profile, they're going to take you more seriously. Now, after you do that, you want to add another financial trade line. Now you can add a Sam's Club card, which is now you transition to business funding because now we're getting the bank's money. So once we start getting the bank's money, we transition to business funding. So we started at business credit, properly short our business, had a, we got vendor supplier trade lines, we added financial trade lines, then we're going to add another financial trade line, but this is going to be an unsecured business credit card, Sam Club Master Business Credit Card, which is really good. So now, now you can start getting business funding because you have this business credit trade line reporting to your business credit report. This is why I tell you, you want to focus on trade lines, business trade lines that report to Experian Business, because most lenders and creditors check Experian Business 
to qualify you to see if you're lendable, to see if your business is credible. Not Dun & Brad, because your Dun & Brad, your AKA, your payday score, only reports vendors and supplier trade lines. They don't report financial trade lines, majority of them. So this is why you want to focus on your Experian and your Equifax business. All right, so now we're in position to get the Sam Club card, EIN only. Notice everything I just told you have nothing to do with your personal credit. It has nothing to do with your revenue, just your EIN, just your business. I'm telling you the fast way to build business credit in 2023, step by step. Right, which is powerful. I'm sure your business can benefit off this information. So after we transition to business funding, what we're going to do now, now we can do several things. We can use this anywhere between 8,000, 21,000 that you just got from Sam Club, that MasterCard, which you can use anywhere that take MasterCard. It's just not limited at that particular store like every other business credit card out there when you're building business credit. This you can use anywhere that take MasterCard. Now, after we do that, we can liquidate this credit card. Why? Because now we can start building bank credit. Remember, business credit, business funding, bank credit, three different concepts. So now we can start using bank credit. We can take that money out that Sam Club card, let that money sit in our bank anywhere between three months could be because we want to build a high bank rating number. So we want to let that money sit so we can show these financial institutions that we have money in the bank not only that but also that we know how to manage our cash flow that's what bank credit is primarily about how good do you manage your cash flow after you pay your expenses and after pay your debt consistently what do you have in your business checking account so that's what we're going to manipulate the system by putting that those funds into our business checking account you tracking me this is really powerful so teach you how to build business credit in a strategic way so business credit business funding now we own bank credit so we're going to let that money sit. And guess what we're going to do after that? We're going to now leverage that money that's in the bank to get more bank money, to get more business funding as far as business lines of credit, uh, business loans, because now lenders see that you're actually making money in your company. So they most likely to lend you more money. Right. So which is really important. Now, you see how we just went down that whole cycle. So now you can go to other fintech companies and or other financial institutions out there and leverage the money that you put in the bank to get even more money, which is really powerful. So I just told you how to build business credit A through Z. Right. Um, so I hope this information really helps. If you got any questions, any comments, reach out to me, leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you soon.